hello and welcome again to CSGO ET. Uh, Borneo is talking, and here we have the second video. In this video, I will show you how to set up NetGraph. I will tell you which command still is working in CSGO, because, like in Dota 2, there are a bunch of commands working. Almost all of them are, are working, but. Uh, in CSGO, I well, decided to disable a lot of commands because players use NetGraph, for example, to quick scope is all set it right to the center of your screen and use it as a quick scope. And I'll we'll show you how to read the info that NetGraph gives, gives you. So, let's open the console and see the commands. You can still use so netgraph working command allows you to disable or enable the netgraph. Netgraph hate do not work. Netgraph holds frame rate do not work. Netgraph m sex is working. It depends uh, said that how often the netgraph. I refresh the info so the graph position is working. You can move your graph from the right to the left on the bottom of the screen. The graph proportional font do not work, do not work, show interrupt and show latency. Uh, show the info about the, the rates, the ping. You can show the SV frame rate also. And then the graph text doesn't work, so it doesn't work, and see from rate we, we also check. So that the old command that the valve decided to have in CSGO that are working. <coughs> the other do not work. Uh, I told you the reason a few seconds ago why the hell they were <coughs> <coughs> sorry disabled. Now let's learn how to read the net graph. The FPS, shop the FPS uh, you have in CSGO. The loss shows uh, uh, how many packets uh, do you lose, how many percent of the packets do you lose sending it to the server or getting it back from the server. The choke. Uh, this created shows shows uh, some info when your rate is either too low or the server can't send enough uh, packets back to you for your specified update rate. If it is different from server, the choke will be greater and greater. Depends on the difference in CD and update rate of you and server. Uh, next one, the ping show the time, how long the packet, how long, it, how many time it takes uh, to the packet to go from one packet to go to the server and the other uh, get back to you. So the the tick update and CMD rate show the tick rate of you. Update means how many packets you send to the server and CMD how many packets you get from the server. The line shows that I am not connected to any server. <coughs> For example, I can connect with a phone, connect the server, and make a phone, and the uh, line will change that I am phone connected to some server. So the SV uh, shows how many milliseconds server simulation step took uh, on the last network frame. So the highest possible simulation time for TIG64 servers is 15 milliseconds. If it's higher, the server is shit. You can leave it. <coughs> for example, if you're playing the uh, this match on TIG64 server or some public game, uh, it should be two times lower on the TIG128. <coughs> Plus and minus next to SV show the 
standard deviation of server simulation step uh, duration measured in milliseconds over the history of the last 50 server frames. You should understand that is the difference how many times it takes the server to generate each step based on the last 50. So, the, for example, the difference is between the highest and the lowest time, uh, like 0 0.8. Milliseconds. <coughs> the last info you get from the server. Uh, the VAR shows the waiting time between simulation steps. So it shows how many times the server uh, or the client wait to generate the, the tick to send it to the server. So I don't know what the hell <laughs> my, my Cisco is generating, but is doing the right doing nothing right now. So maybe it's updated with some Valve server, so I don't know. <sighs> so to sum up, uh, you learned uh, how to read the net graph. Now we know what net graph commands are still working and why the hell they are disabled. Because in Dota 2 you can use much of this uh most of these comments, or all of them, but like a year ago, there was disabled in CSGO. So, thanks for watching. Thumb up, subscribe, wait for new videos, and see you soon.